Good morning, students. Today we are going to learn GK's chapter four and five of unit one. One is amazing birds, and the next one is chain of facts. So get ready with your books. You can ask me your doubts. So the first one is amazing birds. So as we know, birds are born. Blood and body bits having two legs. Now let us come to number one. I have found here various uh, names have been given there in jumbled way. We have to search which bird they are referring to. So I have found in marshes and estuaries in most of the part of the world. Marshes means the water which are uh, in uh, in a still way. And in grassy area, full of straws and others, not uh, the movable water constantly. And estuaries, estuaries are not like deltas, but uh, you can say a piece of uh, area having water, but they are still without any movement. And generally, uh, these uh, places people don't go frequently for bath and for other purposes. So, Asia is in most part of the world except for the Arctic region. Arctic, as we know, on the topmost part of our globe. I have long legs and a long bill which curves upwards. Bill means the beak of the bird. I love to eat insects, small aquatic animals. Aquatic animals are those animals found in water. Aqua water it was itself means related with water. And some aquatic plants, the plants which grows on the marshy areas. Guess who am I? So it is none other than Everset. So you please note down your answer. It is Everset. The answers are given down in German way. Just put it there. Next, I am a stout bird found in New Guinea and Australia. So this bird is particularly found in New Guinea and Australia. I have strong legs and feet, and I spend most of the my time on the ground. So this bird spent most of their time on ground, just like seagull. Seagull, you must be knowing. You have watched many matches and all. They are generally found on the grounds. Always uh, they are like that only. So this bird is also like that. I am a birds not only eat uh, the herbs and herbivores, but also they eat the small you can say the fishes and all so omnivores are very much different they are not only herbivores they are not only carnivores it's not only they eat the animals or the small fishes they not only they eat the herbs but they eat both but and feed on fruits and insects so that's why it is written fruits comes from herbs herbivores and insects comes from carnivores so the name is boar as it is going down a bit that's why it is a stout bird is written on the very beginning stout means a bit bent the body is so it is none other than bird bird next i am a large flightless bird so please underline it it's a flightless but it cannot fly i am found in australia new guinea and pacific islands so i have brightly colored flaps of skin called wetters so it has uh, the skin color of the bird as is brightly colored flap flapless the flappy wings no doubt it uh, cannot fly but the wings are having flaps on it that means too much coated or too many layers and that are brightly colored naturally it will look a bit attractive so this particular brightly colored flaps are known as wetters please underline that because it is not necessary that in your gk questions will come the complete one is printed it can come in reverse also why repeat class 7 now you are in your gk questions can come reverse also just like the what do you mean by wetters you have to write the description of it so I love to eat insects, fruits, and small vertebrates. Vertebrates are small fishes which has one bone in between. They are known as vertebrates. Animals are also such as insects are also comes under vertebrates. So the name is cassowary. So you note it down. It is cassowary. Next, I am a large water bird having shiny black plumage 
which involve the back of my wings and legs. So it's a water borderline net. Water bird, question can come like that way as I told you, reverse, name a water bird which has a black plumage. Black plumage means the color the, of the, uh, you can say the feather of the bird is having a black plumage. Black plumage means it has come from the word pigment. Pigment means various types of colors. So it is having like that type of, with silver on the back of my wings and neck. So, neck area and the wings area have silver coating also. My tail is long, broad and tipped with brown color. So, the tail is not only long, broad also. That means enough white. And tipped with brown color. At the end, it is brown. I am a very good swimmer and diver. So, this bird can swim up to a long distance and dive. Dive means who can take a big dive for my topmost part and can catch insects, can catch small fishes from the water. I use my long sharp bill. Bill is the beak. With to spear fish. Spear means to find out and to bring out fish from the water and other prey under water. Prey means food. So they look for prey. They could be small insects, small fishes inside the water. So the name is dart. So it has come from the word dart. So dart. Dart, do you understand? As our, uh, earlier people used to do a certain target. They used to throw small arrows are there. One, uh, two or three wings are there colored with. And people used to throw on it. You take it. You are known as From there only the word has come dark. Next, number five I am in. I have a slender body, long legs and neck and large white face. So this bird has a slender body, very fine and thin body, long legs and neck and large white wings. So very broad wings. I catch my prey which is mostly fish and other animals by snapping them with my strong dagger like way. So dagger are short knives type of. So earlier days the kings and warriors they used to keep daggers, uh, the courtiers used to keep with them small knives pointed. So the bird catches the insects with its bill which is like that, it looks like a dagger. I live in inland water throughout the world. So inland, inside the water a bit, beside the, I mean, uh, near the beaches, near the marshy areas, side part. So it is head on. And the last one is, I am a pinkish brown bird and live in warmer areas of Europe, Asia and Africa. So this bird is also warm bird blooded. Birds are itself warm blooded. So its color is pinkish brown and lives especially in Europe, Asia and Africa, these are found in. I have black and white wings and tail and a long crest of feather on my head. You can see the picture is given there, long crest of feathers on my head. Just like you have seen, fox are having type of, uh, not hooks, they are not direct uh, feather. Like that type of, these birds are also having, just like cuckoos and all. So, it, uh, the bill curves downwards which helps me to poke the ground to find insects. Poke means constantly to dig the ground. With the help of its bill, means the, with the help of its beak, it can poke the ground constantly. It can bring out the muds or the sands and it can, found, it, it can find insects from there. I live mainly on the ground and make nests in holes in trees and rocks. So, these birds make their nests in trees and rocks. So it is none other than okay. So with that we end uh, number four. Now let's come to chapter number five. Chain of facts. Here the answers are already been given. Certain descriptions are been there. First one. Altai bird mouse, native of Siberia, awakes for three four months of the year. So this mouse awakes only for three four months. Less rest of the season, it takes a long deep sleep. That's why the world is like running hibernates. That means it spends the entire winter from early September till mid of May. So for that reason, it doesn't eat anything. That's why it is written. 
it loses about half of its body weight. So these are ultra large mass. You underline the answers are on the very top of the set, uh, of the uh, top of the small messages. Next is lobsters. Lobsters are bigger than prawns. The very smaller are known as shrimp. Next comes prawns and lobsters are big and then comes tiger prawns. Okay. Lobsters have teeth in their stomach. So they have teeth in their stomach. The, please underline it. As I told you, reverse questions can come. The stomach is coated near the mouth and the food they eat is actually chewed in the stomach and they are kept inside a grinding surface known as gastric meal. Underline gastric meal. So their mouth are inside. Their food, the, the mouth are inside near, located near the stomach and they first eat and then they digest it which is known as gastric meal. Next is the giant squid. Giant squid underline it. It's the largest animal without a backbone. Please underline this sentence. It is the largest animal without a backbone in the world. Some giant squids found in North Atlantic have been found to measure about 16 meters. You can imagine without bone 16 meters, such a big type of animal or insect it is. So it's an insect or an aquatic animal. Next is the largest octopus weighs about 15 kg. And octopus have three hearts, underline three hearts. And can squeeze through small holes. Squeeze means it can keep its body very smaller as just if we can squeeze lemon and bring out the juice like that. Octopus can, despite of having eight heads, it can squeeze its body very smaller and it can go and manage inside small holes also despite of 15 kg weight, despite of being the largest octopus. Next we come to, the land is the world's largest antelope. Antelope are just like deer. They can run very fast. They have big horns, both sides. Sometimes their horns are, as you can say, their head is little twisted. That means slightly bent also. So, and spider also. Spider means uh, a bit full. Okay. So, it's the world's largest antelope. Males of this species have twisted horns, a bit uh, not total straight, a bit bent, and have uh, they are thick and tightly spiral. Spiral means too many type of rings. Also, we can find out on their horns. Next comes the active beetles. Beetles is an insect of South America are considered to be the largest known insect in the world. Please uh, note it down. The males of this species are approximately 9 cm long, 5 cm wide and 4 cm thick. So it is actual beetles found only in South America. Next comes the cochineal is the insect that is used as a source of natural red dye. Dye are the colors with which we mix other colors and generally we can bring out whatever color we require. I repeat, dye is a type of color which is found in particularly in this insect through which we can mix up other pigments and we can bring out new color of our choice. You can be, you must be knowing dye on uh, fabrics, dye on clothes, whatever color we require, we give uh, like that type of uh, color order and generally they manage it. So, these insects are dried and ground into a powder. So, for dyeing purpose only, they are, the, the feather of the insects are being dried after drying up and they are converted into powder and then they are made into whatever color we require. This dye is used to color fabrics and baskets. So, with that, various fabrics with clothes. Various clothes and baskets for various purposes are being made. And finally, the last part, the Borneal, Borneal mist, which are found in Borneo. Borneo is in Africa. Borneo and Oramota. Oramota belongs uh, from the monkeys group, which is also called the old man of the forest. So, just like the Congo man, the early humans uh, in history you must have read, is the largest animal living in that tree. Please note it down and underline it. It is the largest animal. Despite of uh, being a bigger size, it can still manage 
to live in that tree. That means it can fly higher. Old man of the forest, it is known as, and it is found generally in Borneo Basin, that is in Africa. So, with that, we end chapter 4 and 5 of the day 1 Amazing Words of Tena Facts. Thank you.